What's going on YouTube? I'm Tom Glegg and welcome to another episode of TMG Training. What's up? Wait. What the? F Storm, what are you doing? Hmm? We are back. We are me. We are me. We are. We're all me. We're all Negan. We're all me. We're all Clegg. We're all TMG. I am back. I'm happy again. I'm feeling me again. I'm feeling fresh. Body's fresh. Mind is fresh. And we are back. We're back on the YouTube. So in today's video, I wanted to touch on motivation, unmotivation, savage leg day, what else? So first of all, I just want to kick off with a little recap on my deload. My deload obviously was last week and that was my previous video. That has absolutely done me the world of joy. I feel so much better for it now. And I really wish I did it a couple more weeks ago and prevented everything that's been happening in the past couple of weeks. Which is what I want to touch on now. Um, I've been... I've been in a fairly dark place. Uh, Gym-wise, motivation-wise, and just my whole headspace has just been a complete and utter disaster lately. So, I just want to touch on what I've been feeling in the past few weeks. Um, I've actually wrote down some little notes here because I'd either forget or I'd miss something off. Current feelings in the past two weeks, obviously not now because we're back. We're back being me. I've been feeling very down and unmotivated. Um, multiple reasons could have been the weather being shit. Uh, I've had a plateau in body weight so in the past, I don't know, say maybe four or five weeks I've been sitting at 90 kilos and it's just not been shifting I've switched up diet, I've switched up cardio, switched up training and it just ain't shifting Storm! It's your fill of the board! Cat's wrecking the Christmas tree It's Christmas, it's December Cat's wrecking it Christmas tree lasted a day So yeah, I've had a bit of a plateau in body weight and nothing's really been shifting it On top of that, I've not really had enough time in the day to hit cardio and weight training as long as I'd like. Uh, fasted cardio every morning and then I used to always train on my breaks at work but now obviously I live in a completely different area um, it's a bit out of the way for work it's a bit, <laughs> a bit out of the way for work so it's a bit harder to do stuff like that and I've now added almost an hour journey onto my days at work. Um, constant feeling of being tired and run down this has definitely been because I needed a deload. Um, not only that, I've got quite a demanding job with being a chef. Obviously, the hours are quite long, and the hours that you do work are pretty damn hectic. And with it being December now, in Christmas time, it's like one of our busiest times of year. So we storm, get out of the fucking tree, mate. Little fucking dickhead. On top of that, I've obviously got low calories, low calorie diet, low carbs. I'm training. I'm obviously I'm pushing, pushing a lot of weight in the minute. I'm doing a lot of cardio. Storm, get the fuck down. On top of that, I've had a couple of unexpected rest days. Now I'm not one for taking rest days. Well, I never used to be. I used to be really hard at taking rest days. When I'm not at the gym, I don't feel me. It makes me feel feel like me, it's my own little alone time, it's my 
two, three hours that I just shut out the world and just focus on myself. Um, my sleep's been really shit. Again, work, needing a deload, everything like that. So that is all the talking points of how I've been feeling lately. I'm gonna touch more on on this after I've trained. I'm gonna do some little pick-me-up tips or at least the tips that I've used to help myself. But with that being said, I'm gonna go to the gym now and I'll see you all after the gym. Do not be fooled by the fucking sunshine. It's bloody freezing out here. Rocking up to like day with a full fucking tracksuit. Makes me look fucking well hard, bruv. Not like a road man. I'm fucking cap and tracksuit, bruv. Master that I warmed up with, so it's time for me to finish the gym, get home, eat, and then I'll talk to you guys about little pick up tips. But after deload week, I'm doing an hour and a half just on legs, I think it's safe to say that I'm back, the deload's worked, and it's time to push some heavy ass weights. I'll see you when I get home. I wish this goddamn camera would fucking focus today. Hello? Hello there? Are you still watching the video? What's up? Wake up, what's up? It's dark outside, that's right. I train, don't chill fucking dusk, pal. No, I'm joking, that was only two hours training, an hour and a half. Weight training, well, an hour and 39 minutes, mate. And then I did. Either 10 or 15 minutes on the Stairmaster, I can't remember. 
all I cared about was the calories. So both training and the cardio warm up for 935 calories. That is more than I've eaten today. I think I've only eaten about 500 calories. So fuck yourself! You just fucking hate it. Right, you're filming. Yeah, mate. Yeah, I'm fucking filming, mate. I'm a YouTube fucking sensation. Look at me. I've got a fucking camera and I get about 50 views a video, mate. I'll fucking do you, mate. Dickhead. I always feel dead awkward and people just look at you like that. Because you're filming. Um, completely lost track where I'm going. I think I've done this video about 500 times, I don't even know what I'm doing. Anyway, gonna touch on the whole good vibes, pit me ups. This is one of the pit me ups. If you're in a good mood, like I am now, I've had a good session, I've burned almost a thousand calories, that's a fucking lot, mate. So I'm feeling pretty fucking fantastic now, mate. Because all my endorphins are like going mental in my brain. And when I'm happy, I do stupid voices like this. So don't you even touch my car. I'll fucking kill you. So, a little tip for pit me ups is to keep the good vibes by playing a good old bit of old fashioned music. I'm not saying like 1920s, but I'm saying about the noughties. I grew up in noughties, I tell thee. And there's some pretty good bangers. So what I like to do to keep my good mood up is play some banging tunes now. Yeah. Camera's dying. Don't know, what, don't know what I'm gonna say. This little bass probably got absolutely no context other than keep good music in your life. It puts you in a good mood and it releases serotonin. Serotonin makes you feel good. Keep me a pick me up. Always good vibes, always good music. Good music equals good vibes, and I really wish that everyone would stop fucking looking in me car. It's my car, I'll do what I want. If I want to vlog, I'll vlog, pal. I'm just fucking jealous because I've got fucking decent tunes, me on. Right, catch you a bit, see you on my see you. Yeah, whatever. Bye. Bye. We are back. We are smelly, we are sweaty, and I am still feeling fabulous. Two hours post-workout because my camera died so I thought I'd just jump on it and talk about pick-me-ups a couple of little pick-me-ups I try and do is one I've always done from the start is transformations but the main reason why I take so many photos is for transformations so like all throughout last prep out throughout this off season even if I didn't post anything I just keep it there for myself I always look at my body fat, my body composition. Um, so yeah, I'll put transformation on now. That was from comp prep last year to holiday this July to now sitting at 90 kilos from 73 to 103 down to 90. Obviously, as you've seen earlier in the clip, I'm stuck at 90, but I am making moves, I am making plans to change that. So more tips for pick me ups is to make more goals. Obviously, my goals at the minute is to obviously eventually move into Classic, maybe compete next year, etc. It's just as important to make goals short term as well as long term. So for me, once I've got a goal in mind, I can normally get my head in the game and I'm stuck there and I can't, I won't stop till I've hit my goal. Which obviously, long term, it's it's getting there but it's hard to stay on track long term wise when you've got no short term so obviously I make short term goals so I'm wanting to hit 85 kilos for January now which I've only got not a lot I think I've got two weeks today to hit 85 and I'm currently still 90 but obviously if you don't make gold you ain't gonna hit them you need to switch up scenarios obviously for me my routine every day is gym work gym work gym work gym work home Obviously go visit people, friends, family, etc. Change up the scenario, change up the scenery. I mean you're not getting stuck in like the same four walls every day. You need to think about the end result. The end result is so important. So that's been a big factor for me throughout this this training period at the minute with push pull legs and training to failure is constantly thinking about that end result. But it's thinking about that end result, you've got to go to another place. 
to push them extra three to five reps out. I'll think of that end result. What for me, I've got to think of what I'm going to look like on stage next. Even if I'm competing in men's physique, if my legs are weak, all I'll think back to that in that moment is: Have I trained them hard enough? Have I been training more frequent? So always thinking about that end result. Always strive and push for more. Obviously, make plans, make a plan of attack, structure it, have some form of plan in the pipeline to get you to where you want to be in your goals or physique or where you want to be in life in general. It's easier said than done, but stop worrying. I am probably one of the biggest worriers in the world. I can't help it, that's me. That's who I am. I need to start accepting more that it is okay to have off days. It's, it's okay to, to feel down. It's okay to feel shit. It's okay to not be motivated. Everyone in the world has down days. And it's important to recognize your down days and to make sure you ride out the down days. Because if you don't have a down day, you're never gonna really appreciate the waves of, of having a good day. The waves of happiness and that good feeling and all your endorphins go in, you're never gonna appreciate and realize how nice it is to have them feelings if you don't have down days. Some other little tips is to increase cardio. In ca cardio, everyone knows that cardio releases endorphins as well as training does. So for me, up in my up in my cardio has helped me mentally. It's that extra two minutes or that extra ten minutes, half an hour, hour, whatever, whatever you're doing extra. It feels so much better because you know it's just that tiny little baby step to being closer to where you want to be. Another thing is taking more time out for yourself. Like for me. As geeky as it is, I play Call of Duty. My thing other than work in the gym is Call of Duty. The gym is a passion of mine and it's and it's my me time and it's what makes me feel me. But it is also important to have other hobbies to take your mind off things, whether it be if you I don't know, someone might want to go horse riding, might go bowling, people might even want to go out on the weekend. Whatever your thing is, find that thing that is gonna take your mind off the pressure of the gym and your diet, etc. It's always important to have that extra little time to yourself. You need to invest your time wisely. You need to make time for things, but don't work yourself into the ground. I've got a habit of doing that, and I have done that, and that's why I had my deload last week. Especially coming up to Christmas now, it's hectic. I'm sure it's hectic for everyone, but it's definitely hectic for me. So I'm investing my time wisely. If I can do get up and do fasted cardio in the morning, I'll do it. If I can't, I'm too knackered, fuck it, I won't do it. Obviously, I'm going to try and push as much as I can. I only did 15 minutes Stairmaster today because, one, it would tie my legs out too much, and two, I just wanted to chill out a bit and put all my energy into legs, and obviously I've still burnt a thousand calories, which is fucking bosh. Making up for time on, without putting too much pressure on doing faster cardio every day, I'm doing it on my rest days now. Oh, now the fucking camera focuses. Bastard. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here. If you did like this video, please smash the like button, hit subscribe, follow me on Instagram, tmg.training. And I'll see you all in the next one. It's going to be Christmas diet. I promise you I will do the Christmas diet. I said that on D-Load Week. And I'm saying that now. But I will do the next one on my Christmas diet. Don't want to harp on too much for you guys. And make like a half an hour long video. So I'll make sure I go over all of that Christmas diet. On the next video. Which should be dropping next week. So keep your eyes peeled. Subscribe. Make sure you get the notifications. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.